All right, here is the current state of the bathroom. So Paul has removed all of the sheetrock up to the ceiling and everything is taken out. Toilet, tub, vanity, subfloor, or tile and the mortar that was under there. The tub was a cast iron tub. Very, very, very heavy. So that required a lot of sweat equity to get that out. He used a sledgehammer to break it up and he said it was probably one of the hardest things he's ever done. I was a little bummed because I wanted to help with that, but it's done. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have been able to help anyways because he's like, I struggled to break that thing up with a sledgehammer. So, uh, so the yellow tub is gone. Obviously we had um, some leaking going on right here under the tub and then there and we knew this was the very first part I found before I even did any um, demo work. So the tub was definitely leaking and then um, it made it all the way like over to here. So it was leaking for a while, probably long before we even owned the house. The toilet was leaking, you can see all the way around it, water stains. And other than that, that's um, it for the leaking, so not terrible. Um, and so what we're thinking, because the floor is still solid, it's not, um, you know, it's not, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, like breaking up or thin um, or soft is the word I was looking for. Uh, we'll probably end up just killing right over all of the water stains with the exception of maybe like some of this wood and these two studs will probably cut up to about here and then replace the lower part and then just kills and potentially just go with all the studs all the way around the shower to be preventative of any future leaking and then kills over here and um and then we'll be ready to move on to the next step so we definitely have to um we're gonna put in because we're doing a surround we're not tiling all the way we're um, just going to do some cement board up top where we'll be tiling um, around the shower up top of the surround and then um and then getting ready to tile and well we'll have to put the tub in first so we'll put the new tub in and then we can prepare the floor to tile put the tile in before the tile ended and kind of went around the vanity, but we're just gonna tile all the way under. Um, and then we have our new vanity, so that needs some customization to it. So Paul will have to work on that. And then we can paint it and that thing will be ready to install. Um, and then one other thing that I'm working on is I'm trying to decide, so this was a vanity or a medicine cabinet and I'm trying to decide if I want another one there. I'm, I'm not sure. I really liked having the extra storage because we don't have a closet in here, so it's really just the vanity for storage. And then I did have storage over the toilet. I don't know if I'm gonna put that back or do something different, maybe open shelving, I'm not sure. So, I don't know, have you ever had a medicine cabinet in your bathroom, is it worth it? Sometimes they're ugly. I feel like I'm gonna have to find the right one or tweak it. Um, so that's where we're at right now. We're moving slow, but we're making progress. Oh, we also have to figure out our lighting. Uh, I wanna do some recessed light, lighting over the shower. So, you know, ladies, we gotta be able to see when we shave. That's like a huge thing. You gotta see in the shower. Um, and then we'll have to do a new fan maybe with a light not 100 percent sure ideally i'd like to move it to the middle of the bathroom but i don't really know how hard that is and then we'll have to get a new light for over the vanity so that's kind of where we're at right now um i think that's all i can tell you at the moment so there you go there you have it